I know that many of you guys are coming to China soon, whether it's for school or for travel purposes. But if you don't know, China has something called the Great Firewall, which is a legislative action enforced by the government to regulate access to the internet within the mainland. Essentially, it's a censorship that blocks access to certain applications and foreign websites within China. That means the most popular Western apps that you may know of or use, such as Facebook, Instagram, or Google are blocked mm -hmm. from working within China. So if you're coming to China, you're probably going to need some Chinese apps to assimilate into daily life. So in this video, I'll give you the top 10 most useful apps that you need before you come to China. First and foremost, I want to start off with one of these things, which is a smartphone. Obviously. You can bring an Android, an iPhone, honestly anything works in China as long as it's a smartphone. It's literally imperative. You use it from everything, from taking the metro, paying for anything. Um, yeah, we, we literally use our cell phones for anything. So it's imperative, no exceptions. Bring a smartphone. Okay, we get it. So before I get into the other apps that you should download, you should absolutely get a VPN. That is another must, just like having a smartphone. So a VPN is a virtual private network which will allow you to access apps from different countries. It essentially unblocks the blocked apps in China. So if you download a VPN, you can come here and then use things such as Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Google, etc. So if you want to be able to contact the people from back home on the apps that you love and use every day, definitely download a VPN so you could be able to do that while you're in China. I won't really recommend one in this video because it seems like every now and then VPN service gets taken down so I don't want to recommend one and then it gets taken down but there's a lot of VPNs on the App Store so definitely download a VPN or maybe go on like Reddit or something and ask like what are the best VPNs right now and then they'll let you know. So our communication apps let's start with WeChat. WeChat is probably the single most important app in China. There's actually a saying that you can literally do anything on WeChat, which you basically can. It's essentially a multifunctional app which allows for direct messaging or group messaging, which you'll end up being in a lot of when you come here. It's also a payment function which you can add your Chinese bank card or link your Chinese bank card to pay for things through WeChat Pay. There's also something called WeChat Mini Programs, which is essentially like B2C, where businesses can communicate with their customers and have for things like account signups or discount distribution as well as like operation updates. Okay, another extremely important app in China is called Alipay. Alipay sounds like exactly what it is. It's a payment app. One of the really good things about Alipay is it accepts international bank cards. So if you come here for a short period of time and can't apply for a Chinese bank card, you can link your home bank card to Alipay to be able to pay for things in China digitally. One thing to note that there are some places that only accept Alipay. So it's really crucial to have Alipay and you can use it for things such as unlocking bikes or essentially paying for anything like the metro or buses, etc. Let's switch gears here to the food services because of course everybody loves to eat, right? Well, there are two very popular apps in China for food service delivery. The first one is Ulama, which is one of the go-tos for food delivery. Ulama, you essentially order the food and they deliver it right to your door or wherever you request them to drop the food off, they'll deliver it in rain, sleet, or snow. <laughs> and it gets you pretty fast. So it's a really good food app to have. And there's also a lot of discounts on there. So definitely download Ulama. Another one of the really good food delivery apps is Meituan. Meituan is kind of like the new kid on the block, but they do offer a ton of discounts. So it has grown very, very rapidly over the last few years. One thing you'll note about these apps are they all kind of like multi-purpose apps. So honestly, all of the apps that I'm naming have a lot of other different functions that I probably won't mention, but you can definitely go through them and take a look for yourself. But one of the main functions for it is food delivery and bike sharing. They also have a lot of bikes around Shanghai, very new and clean, so you can use that as well. Another one of the apps that we'll get into are translation apps. As you know, the main spoken language in China is Mandarin. Of course, there's a lot of different dialects, but Mandarin will get you by. With that being said, my favorite translation app is Baidu Translate. Baidu Translate is a Chinese app because Baidu is a Chinese company, so I always find it to have the best translations. There's even features where you can like scan and then it'll translate stuff for you by just scanning and taking a picture. So that's a very useful feature. Also, there's other functions on there where you can practice your Chinese. So that's also something very helpful if you're doing Chinese studies. Another one that's usually very popular here in China is something called DeepL. I don't use it as much anymore, but it is a very good translation app if you want something else. So the next section of apps we'll get into is transportation. One of the best apps for transportation is something called Baidu D2, which is essentially Baidu Maps. It's one of the best GPS services and maps. You can use it just like a regular map 
or it'd even tell you like when the next trains and buses will come so you can always get there ahead of time and be prepared for the next one. It also determines your route almost anywhere to the precise minute so by the time you leave the place that you're at and you get to the place that you're going you'll get there at the exact time it says whether you walk, take the train, take a bike or a combination of all of them. It also has a ton of different modes of transportation as well so you can look on there for bikes, motor scooters, uh, walking, you could order a taxi on there, you can take a Galtier, a, a train, a long rail, all of it, all of it's on there. Another transportation app that you could actually use is Apple Maps, which a lot of people already have on their Apple iPhones. Um, I don't use this app as often, but it is surprising that this does work in China, so a lot of people do use it when they come. So you can use Apple Maps since a lot of you guys already have it on your phones, and if you're more comfortable with using an English-based app rather than a Chinese-based app. So the next app I want to get into is ordering items. I don't know, item ordering in China. So what you want to download is Taobao. Taobao is essentially the Amazon of China. It has absolutely everything you're looking for and sometimes you could even get same day delivery which is super cool. If you need something, Taobao got it. And they got it for the low, like very, 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 very cheap prices. And when I mean low, I mean cheap, cheap. So download Taobao and look for whatever you're looking for, order it, and it's pretty simple, just like any other ordering app in any other country. And the last app I got for you today is an app called Dajong Dianping. I think the closest thing I could probably relate it to is Yelp. It just tells you about a lot of restaurants or places in China. So if you're looking for a restaurant or a place and somebody gives you a recommendation, you can go to on Dajong Dianping and you can kind of look it up, look through the reviews, look at what they have. And I'll give you guys one honorable mention because there's actually a lot of other apps that I think you guys should download. So if you want a part two, definitely let me know down in the comments. But the honorable mention I'll give you guys, if you're coming to Shanghai specifically, download Smart Shanghai. Smart Shanghai is actually all in English, but it's recommendations or anything essentially around Shanghai that you can do, whether it's upcoming event dates or new parties or new clubs or whatever is opening around Shanghai. Also, there's another feature on there where you can kind of look for different jobs. So if you're coming to Shanghai, if you're looking for a job or internship in Shanghai, you can go through the job tab and you can search through there for jobs. But anyways, that's the end of this video. There's actually a lot more apps that I think you guys should download. So if you're looking for a part two, let me know down in the comments below. But on that note, see you guys in China. I hope this helped and I'll see you guys in the next one. Essentially, it's a censorship. It's a censorship that blocks. Essentially, essentially, it's a. Oh my God. Okay. Essentially, it's a censorship. Censorship. The censorship that blocks certain access.